show you a little bit of our back property. So when we moved in here 18 years ago, this, all area you're looking at, the fence and all this, was completely covered in brush. You couldn't see from here down to there. So my hobby, what I like to do, is cut brush with chainsaw and brush cutter. So over the years, I've slowly cleared out brush along the trail and down there and up here, little by little, over the course of 18 years. And we're gonna go for a little tour take a closer look. But now we have a view from up here. We can see the creek. We have a nice little place to sit. Let me show them this side. We got a clear fence line. We got a fence and a gate, which has been in a long time ago. There's our house. And we got a nice little tour. Come on. All right, let's go. Don't fall. Go get it. Go get it. It's got a rock. Throw the rock. <laughs> Come on. All right, here we go. Let's show you what we've got here. This was all brushy. You couldn't see the creek. Little oh, by little yeah. over the course of years. It's his way of de-stressing. It's so funny. This week even Here's our after work. Yep. I was out here last night. It's still burning. Oh. Enjoying the sunset. Alright, you're gonna have to go fast. Mm -hmm. You're gonna keep up with me. All right. Hopefully this isn't too wiggly. This is what he does. He cleans it up. He actually can walk deer in the evening. He None of this up. was here. This was all brush. You couldn't walk through here. I'm going to show him your view. So he sits up in that blue chair up there and he watches the wildlife. There's a native beaver that comes in every night. Ducks, geese, all that kind of stuff. Deer. archery practice for the son that's an archery shooter. Hunter. It's pretty beautiful. Pretty spoiled. This is a creek. Tell them about the creek, babe. Tell them its name. Milk Creek. Milk Creek. That's all excitement. <laughs> Did you okay. really say this is a creek? <laughs> <laughs> yes. This is all part of my new project this year. We had a trail here, but this part by the creek was all really brushy. So I cleared it out. We, he has a nickname. His nickname is Safety Tim. Because when he comes down and he does these kinds of projects, he has all the safety gear on. The chaps and the ear protectors and the eye protectors and the helmet. He's pretty cute when he's all dressed up. He's telling me to hurry up, but I know I'm just gonna make you guys really sick or I'm gonna fall in, one of the two. So peaceful and quiet back here. This is an old deck. There used to be a house up here and they had a deck and steps, but they moved and they made it a small school and they fenced it off. So nobody comes down here anymore, but I brushed out all around this. So we have a nice little deck with our own little chair that we brought down. Yes, we just have to be careful because look at this nice tree that is very precariously yes. perched. This whole area right here. Hold on. There this you go. was all brushy. Yep, it was. We're going to say that again. This was brushy before, but it's not now. <laughs> You're still recording, you silly. <laughs> Oh, it looks lovely though, doesn't it? Perfect time of day to do this too. Hopefully. I'm coming. So there's a fishing hole up here. Cindy! That we see. She's still got a rock. She won't she won't let her rock go. That's why she won't go fetch anything. <laughs> Pretty doggy. Muddy here, are you gonna be able to jump over the mud with your camera? I got my garden shoes on, they can get wet. There's a natural spring that runs off right in here, feeding the creek. I'm trying not to shine you guys right into the sunshine, which is looking so lovely. 
but we should look back that way because look how pretty it is. Big trees. Still going. Still going. Yes, this is where I haven't been before, so this could get interesting. So I came down here the other night after work and he was done with work and like he is still going like crazy with his trail. Look how pretty it is. There is a swimming hole. Most of this water is fairly shallow. In the summertime, it's usually between mid shin and just above your knees until we get down here. Then there's a place in the... My goal was to get to the deep spot because there's a deeper hole that's actually over your head in one part. And I always want to know if there's fish in there. So if we can hike all the way in, then we can try fishing it. Yes, especially if there's not as much brush to catch on everything. So... I'll come in here and clean this out a little bit better. But. Yes, this is the newest part. This is why we're taking this adventure. So, uh, again, this is not, this is public property because it's the public right of way on the creek. And uh, he's just helping it. It's not like anybody else is going to use it because they don't have access. But, it's crazy. See? Beautiful. Wouldn't be surprised if we saw something. Some critters. Wow, you came a long ways back here. Right there, I think, is where the deep part is. Right out oh, there. Snake! Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to make you jump, but you're not scared of me. I'm not scared of snake. He is. Uh -huh. Let's see if we can get her to go for a oh, stick. See, you can see the, the edge right there. Yeah, so I don't know if you guys could see, but the water has a clay. There's a clay bar in here that makes it so the water drops off and goes down. And it literally goes from being about a foot and a half to two feet deep to probably eight feet maybe. I think the deepest part's right there though. Yeah. Right there. Because that's uh, right where that bush goes in. That's the deep part. Well, there you go. Let's see. I'm going to throw a stick for the dog. Let's see if I can do that. Get oh, the stick. she's going in anyway. Look. Uh, here. Cindy, get the stick. Well, you threw it in the shallow part. Well, she still has to swim. But she will love that to go back and forth. <laughs> Come on. Bring it. Help her get up the right way. Over here. Over here. Psst. Over here. Over there. Here. Yeah, of course you can't be able to get up to the brush there. Come on. Over here. So quiet down here. All right, YouTube. That's probably more than what you wanted to see. So, that's my husband, Tim, by the way. I'm not sure if he's ever actually talked too much on there. Something up there? I heard that too. Some sort of animal. Come on. 